early morning in Kenya's Rift Valley town of Eldred. The most common sight, athletes either on the road or a dirt truck training for their next assignment. In recent years, the region, popularly known as the home of champions, has been dotted with foreign athletes. While Europeans have been the most frequent visitors, China is also joining this list. We came here not only to learn their training methods, but also their spirit. They show no fear to any hardship during their training. Athletes can only achieve good results with such spirit. A group of 16 middle and long distance runners from China, including 2009 women's world marathon champion Bai Zhue, training under renowned athletics coach Italian Renato Canova. The 69-year-old who has coached many Kenyan world and Olympic medalists was appointed China's national athletics coach for middle and long distances last year. He is contracted until the 2016 Olympics. We can learn a lot of things about not so much about the training like a methodology, but about the interpretation of training. No. So the athletes here are very aggressive in training and is the only way for becoming a really top champion. No. When a European or an American or a Chinese come here, is for learning a different type of professionalism. So the first step for becoming champion is to change a little bit mentality. This was the main reason because I came here with all the team. Honestly, our performance hasn't been anywhere close to the Kenyans, Ethiopians or even some European countries. We hope Coach Renato can bring us international perspectives to help our athletes improve. Kenyan athletes have managed to succeed even with the most basic of facilities and this has lured many international athletes to Kenya's Rift Valley. And the Chinese athletes will be hoping to get some of that magic to success even as they look towards 2015 when Beijing hosts the World Championships in athletics. In China there are the best facilities I saw in my life in all the world. But what I explain also to the Federation, the facilities that we need for a longer distance is one road and one hotel and possibility to run outside. The team will spend over one month training in Eldoret and Iten. Celestine Karanay, CCTV in Eldoret, Kenya.